video we prove and the relationship between the cut rate and cut vertices in a graph so the statement reads as follows let g be a connected graph with the number of vertices at least three so that a statement is if g contains okay if g contains a cut edge okay then g contains a cut vertex okay so let's go and prove this thing i think we saw examples related to this thing so if it contains a cut vertex then definitely uh, it contains a cut edge then definitely the graph will contain a cut vertex the other way okay may might not be true for example there could be a graph which looks something like this okay for example consider this particular graph so here we can see that okay this graph it doesn't have any cut edge okay but it have a cut vertex here okay so the converse of this statement uh, is false okay because you have this example it has a cut vertex it doesn't have any a cut edge okay but if a graph has a cut edge then definitely it has cut vertex so for example if you look into so this particular graph so i think we saw uh, an example when we discussed the definition of the cut edge just okay so if we look into this particular graph we can see that okay so this is a cut edge okay and the statement read uh, says if it contains a cut edge then it contains a cut vertex so here we can see that it has a cut vertex so here this is going to be the cut vertex okay so let's go and prove this statement so when in uh, order to prove this thing we will be using okay this statement the vertex v is a cut set of g if and only if the degree of v less than or equal to 2 so we proved this statement in the previous uh, video okay so we will be using that uh, in this proof okay so let e equal to u v be a cut edge in g okay then we have to prove that either okay u or v or maybe both are cut vertices okay. so in this example we can see something like that so here again if i add one more triangle here okay we can see that okay in this case this is a cut vertex this is also a cut vertex okay so here it could be like this this is c u v so in this case both u and v are Uh, cut vertices so in the previous case we only have one okay we are sure that at least uh, one of these will be a cut vertex okay okay so the situation is something like this so we have this edge u and v okay and okay, it belongs to this cut edge so these are endpoints of this cut edge okay so next if you are able to prove that the degree of Uh, any of those vertex is greater than or equal to two, okay? Then we can say that we can invoke this particular theorem and say that okay, that is a cut vertex, okay? And here, uh, if you are able to show that the degree of u. in g equal to okay greater than or equal to 2 or degree of v in g is greater than or equal to 2 okay then we are done so we know that okay uh, these two vertices are endpoints of a cut vertex and by this theorem we know if v is a vertex incident to a cut vertex and if the degree of that vertex is greater than or equal to 2 then that we will be a cut vertex okay so so we are going to show that uh, this is going to be the case okay so here we can see that okay uh, the degree of u and v okay, it is not equal to 0 okay, because uh, uh, they are the endpoints of this cut vertex so that says at least one okay so not that 
the degree of u in g is not equal to 0 and degree of v in g is not equal to 0 because these two vertices are endpoints of this cut edge okay so so okay okay if you are able to show that okay it is not equal to 1 also then i we are sure that okay either the degree of this is greater than or equal to 2 or the degree of this vertex is greater than or equal to 2 okay so so we need to show that okay either the degree okay of u in g is greater than or equal to 2 or okay, degree of v in g is greater than or equal to 2 okay and here again we can see that okay so we know that okay it is not equal to 0 degrees are not equal to 0 okay and if you are able to show that the degree of any of these vertices is also not equal to 1 okay then we are done so again we can see that the uh, degree of u in g equal to 1 and okay, degree of v in g equal to 1 is not possible okay not possible because of that reason the number of vertices okay it is given in the hypothesis that number of vertices is greater than or equal to 3 okay and number of vertices is greater than or equal to 3a and the graph is connected okay so that says we okay either any of these two must be connected to one more vertex okay so maybe something like this we have this u and v here okay and there will be some other vertex w okay and since the graph is connected then either this v is connected to this one or this u must be connected to this one okay either this way or the other way must occur so that says either at the degree of u is greater than or equal to 2 or degree of v is greater than or equal to 2 so but this case is not possible both the degree equal to 1 is not possible okay it is not possible because the number of vertices okay in the graph in g is greater than or equal to 3 and okay, g is connected okay so thus either the degree of this vertex is greater than or equal to 2 or degree of this vertex is greater than or equal to 2 okay so the degree of u in g is greater than or equal to 2 or the degree of v in g is greater than or equal to 2 okay so that's enough the next part we can do is we can invoke uh, the previous theorem that we proved okay so if the degree okay if the degree of a vertex v is greater than or equal to 2 and this v is adjacent to okay inside a non cut edge okay then we are done so you can see that okay this uh, v and u are endpoints of a cut okay, cut edge and the degree of this is either greater than or equal to 2 or degree of this either greater than or equal to 2 okay, and that's enough so okay u or v there must be a cut vertex so by the previous theorem that we proved in the last video okay so that says therefore g contains a cut vertex okay so that's the proof so the uh, it says if you have a connected graph with number of vertices at least three okay then if g contains a cut edge okay we are sure that it contains a cut vertex okay 
the other way might not be true always okay for example this graph it has a cut vertex but no cut edges okay okay so we will prove one more property of this cut edge in the next video